in the previous video i have discussed that how a mos n mos can be used for a not gate in this video we will be discussing how the n mos can be used to create a nand gate so before creating the nand gate let us just see what is a nand gate so this will be the symbol of a nand gate and in nand gate generally there are two inputs and there is one output and the output is a dot b bar okay so <coughs> what is the truth table for this so truth table will be so if i draw it so there will be two inputs so which will be taken as a and b and there will be one output so combinations will be 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 so this is my all possible combinations for my nand gate so in nand gate what happens so if 0 0 is the input then the output will be 1 and in other case the output will be 0 sorry this is not the case for 1 1 the output is 0 and for all other cases the output is 1 okay so this is what the nand gate looks like and let us try to implement this with the nmos so now we can see here how many number of inputs there so there are two inputs that is a and b so for two inputs obviously i need two mosfets and how they are connected so <coughs> directly let us draw the nand gate here so first is the mosfet that is used for the load mosfet so we'll draw the load mosfet first so here plus 5 volt is given and it is connected to your load mosfet so this is my source drain and this is the gate and the gate will be connected to the plus 5 volt this is my what this is my load mosfet this has nothing to do with the operation of the nand gate but this is required for the circuit point of view next after this what will happen another mosfet will be there so which is in series it will be connected so this will be the another mosfet same n type mosfet we are taking so this is the drain for another mosfet and this is source for another mosfet and there will be the gate for the another mosfet so that is the gate here so in this gate what we are going we are going to give the input a here so see this is connected in series next another mosfet will be connected in series which will behave as my second input that is b so how to do that again in series it will be connected with another mosfet so this is the gate and we are giving this is a drain this is the source and this is the gate and the source is grounded through this path so this input is my b input now from where the output to be taken so output is taken from the drain side so here this will be the output or the f or it is written as v out now let us understand the operation based on the truth table so first is if the inputs are 0 and 0 so first case i am if i take if the input is 0 0 means i will give 0 volts here and i will give 0 volts here so what will happen if 0 volt and 0 volt is given then the mosfet will behave as a open circuit so i am just doing this let's say this is q1 mosfet and this is q2 mosfet so let us see what happens in the q1 and q2 because this particular mosfet or the load mosfet will always be on so what will happen if 0 volt is given no channel will be created so if no channel is created then what will happen there will be no drain to source voltage drain to source current and they will behave as a open circuit right so now what will happen the q1 will be open circuited again the q2 will also be open circuited because zero volt is given at the gate so this is q1 and this is q2 both are open circuited and from where the output is taken output is taken from this point okay this is my f or v out in this case here we are getting the plus 5 volt because this mosfet this mosfet is on condition so drain to source current is there means behaving as a short circuit so plus 5 volt will be appearing at this point now because it is open circuited so even if it's grounded we are not going to get any current through q1 and q2 so all the voltage the current will flow here and the output will be plus 5 volt in this case right so let us see the next condition next condition is what 0 and 1 so here if i change the input a is 0 volts and let us take b as the 5 volts or plus 5 volt that means logic 1 we are taking so if you take like this then what will happen the transistor 2 or the mosfet 2 will be short circuited 
Now how does the current will flow? Because there is a open circuit here in the transit uh, MOSFET one, so the current will not be coming here, and it will be available in the output. So that's why we are getting plus five volt. That is logic high. So you can see for the first condition and second condition we have checked. So if I check for the third condition, one zero, right? So one means here I will give one means here I will give plus five volts. So that is logic one, and here I will give. 0 volt that is logic 0 so that will be 0 volt or logic 0 for me right so if i give this case then what will happen in the transistor so in the transistor so mosfet 1 will be your short circuited and mosfet 2 will be open circuited this is the same case as the previous one so the current here will not get a path so this is open circuited so current will not flow here in this path so there will be no current in this pass all the current going will be going in like this and will get plus 5 volt that means we are getting logic 1 so you can see here that it is logic 1 next is if i give the input as 1 and 1 both are 1 so what will happen so if input b is again 1 here then what will happen plus 5 volt we are giving and this is logic 1 so if this is plus 5 volt so what will happen to the mosfets So the MOSFET one plus five volt is given, so it is short circuited that is represented. Then the MOSFET two here it is plus five volt, so this will behave as a short circuit. Now what will happen? The plus five volt is now directly grounded through a short circuit. Current will flow here, and in this case the output will be zero volt that is logic zero. So you can see that is my two table is saying. So this is how you can implement a NAND gate using a No, n mos using two n mos actually, so we will be needing two n mos. If the question comes that how many n mos is required, you can write three, because this is one, two, and this is three. Three n mos is required, but to understand the logic and implement the logic, two n mos is enough, and one load uh, MOSFET is there. In the next video, we will be discussing how we can implement a NOR gate.